Hello, my little chickadees. So, who remembers Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, uh, that lot of good asking that did, because we're not going to be opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards for some reason. Um, yeah, these were a thing, um, back when, uh, the Doctor Who sort of revival series, uh, was sort of pretty popular. You know, as opposed to now where it's just, uh, yeah, not, not quite so much. Um, they did a card game to basically, um, I think they started doing it around season two, which was like the first season with David Tennant. Um, which, yeah, I mean, um, it was big for a while. I'd say that, you know, it was one of those things where you're at school and all the kids sort of had these and, you know, you'd be like, oh my god, I got this super rare card and it's like, you know, um, background character number four, but it's like shinier, so it's cool and... Yeah, all that useless shit. So, um, we are gonna be, uh, opening a box of these. Now, um, the, the one commemorative thing I need to do, and, oh sorry, I should probably move this camera back a bit, it's a bit sort of, hmm. I am wondering, should I have done this horizontally? Probably, yes. Um, so, as a commemoration, I'm going to be, um, holding each side up to the camera for like 20 minutes at a time, just so you can digest the artwork. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I have my trusty murder weapon to hand, so let's get these fuckers open. Um, let's probably move a bit closer so that you can actually hear what I'm saying. Which was probably a problem from the start, but... I don't know, I'll edit it in post. Oh, well, actually, I don't even know what that means. Right, um... There we go. And we'll do the fancy thing. I'm going to open them up and then put the thing back in the thing. Nice and snug here. There you go. Look at that. We can play shop. No, we're not going to do that. So, um, there's 32 of these fuckers. I've already opened a box of these ones. Um, I, in fact, I bought two. I bought two distinct boxes. Um, one of them was this set that I'm opening now, which is by far the better set of the two. Um, and then the other one was a set based on season three of the show. So, it's... Not so great, um, much like the season. Um, it just kind of... I don't know, there's a lot of, like, like I say, background character number three, and you just look at it and think, who the fuck is this person? There's a lot of that in that set. Um, not so much in this one, though. Luckily, this set... Um, I'll open the pack up to actually give you an idea. But basically, the idea is that it encapsulates um, the monsters and stuff from the classic as well as the Revival series. So that's kind of neat. Um, obviously on the box art here you've got the Silurian and the um, Squidward. And uh, yeah, let's get these fuckers open, shall we? I should probably stop talking and just open some fucking trading cards like a real man. And uh, for the record, um, yes, I have nothing better to do with my life. So, uh, Brodson, Axe and I, Cult of Scaro. Oh, we've got brackets. Um, in New York. As opposed to not in New York. Um, Mr. Sin, that's my uh, nickname right there. Yeti, Melkur, the great one. I'm only recognizing a small number of these. Uh, Tetrap Group, Shrug, um, and Cyber Leader in brackets armed. Ooh, as opposed to unarmed. That's a rare one. Right, yeah, um, each pack has a standard rare in there. I think there's uh, per 24 packs, there is an ultra rare. So it's more or less a guarantee that within these 36 packs that I'm opening now, I'm going to get at least one Ultra Rare. I actually got two Ultra Rares in the, um, I just got Super Rare. Um, I just, I got, um, two Ultra Rares in the other box that I opened, but I don't think I'll get that lucky twice. But I did really badly in the other set that I opened, which was the Season 3 one. I got such a pause from that one. Uh, what have we got? So Max Capricorn with Heavenly Hosts, as opposed to without. Isn't that nice? And it's a fucking... Modern series, and there's a pretty forgettable modern series one too. It's kind of lame and it's a super rare, but oh well. I don't have it, so that's the, the main thing. And you can get a nice little look at all these other... <laughs> God, I do love the... Um... I, I do wonder if they did a card for those like tinfoil monsters from like the um, good old days, but we can only hope. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't know if I've got every... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just going to sit down. I don't know if I've got every rare from every... From every pack. I don't know if I've got every rare in this particular set. Um, I definitely don't have all the super rares, because that one's one that I didn't have. And I most certainly don't have all the ultra rares, and that's just a... Uh... Yeah, ten traps sleeping. I'll read out some of the weird ones. Um... Oh, here we go. Sycorax Leader. Sword fighting. As opposed to the version of the card where he isn't. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they... <laughs> 
There's a lot of weird shit like that where they avoided doubling up on names by just having, um, like, you know, X thing doing this, you know, stick a verb under there in brackets and no one's gonna notice. Um, you can tell if you've got, like, a, a good card because when you open the pack like this, um, there will be a card that's, like, flipped this way, but it wasn't in this case, so it's just a regular rare. <laughs> um, Cyberman. Awakening from hibernation. The wall is nuts. Look at that. It's shiny. Uh, Cyberman. Oh, camouflaged. Camouflaged? I don't see it. <laughs> Not particularly well, apparently. Um... Mutt. For some reason I have a weird feeling that I don't have that one. Um, because I, I don't know, it just, it, it looked unfamiliar to me. Mutt. There he is there, being all mutt-like. You know, mutt. <laughs> Cassandra's brain. That um, reminds me of that horrible, I don't know if anyone's seen it, the, the really shitty um, toy they did of Cassandra, but like, it's post, like, being blown up. So it's just like the like, bracketry and shit, it's not actually, like, there's nothing there, it's just literally a set of, like, it, it's basically like a picture frame on wheels, pretty much, without the picture inside. Uh, ooh, hello, I haven't got this one. Uh, Master with Toplophane. Okay. That's alright, then. That's, that's alright. Uh, we're gonna have to sort of jimmy along here, because we're getting quite, uh, yeah, we're already six minutes in, and we haven't even opened, like, ten packs yet. Okay. Um... Pack. I'm not gonna go for the whole set or anything, I'm just kind of aiming to... Oh, look at that, we've got another Super and it's one that I already have, but it's quite a nice one. Um, Ancient Hemavore, I'll take your word for it. Uh, but it's one of those ones that has the weird, like, bumpy... I don't know if you can see it, if I shine it in a certain light, you'll be able to kind of see it. Yeah, it's got, like, these bumpy textures on it, it's kind of nice. Um, why do they always have some of these upside down like that? Are you my mummy? Um... Yeah, I don't... I'm just hoping that I'm gonna get some, like, cards that I don't already have in this thing, but... I mean, I know I have for a fact, but hopefully more than just, like, two. I'm not gonna say how much I spent on this, but if you want to get your hands on one of these boxes, uh, you can get them on eBay. Robot K1. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, um, the, this and the, the other Season 3... Se Oh, for some reason I thought I had an ultra rare then, but I'm like, no, that, that wouldn't work because it needs to be like, because it would be like this, like I say, but, uh, Rusty on robot. Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, sorry, changing my seating position once again. Oh, that's better. Yeah, most of these I'm not even going to recognise, to be fair, so. God, I hope the audio is alright. I'm just recording this on my phone, like, how lame is that? What am I, 12? Well, yes, I'm opening Doctor Who cards, of course I'm 12. Okay, nothing great in this one. But, but, uh... You know, I should just resort to looking at these through the camera. Um, Pig Slave attacking. As opposed to not, uh... Da -da -da. What the fuck? I don't think I have that one. Uh, and Yeti Control Sphere. Yeti again. Yeti, I'll shut up. Oh my god, we're doing so badly so far. Um, Bok. You know, Bok. Um, Dragon's Laser Gun. That actually sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, like I say, some of these are upside down. I don't know how they package these things, but I don't think they gave much of a shit, in all fairness. Morgarian Group. Again, I'll take your word for it, I don't really know that. I should be putting the cards that I don't think I already have to one side, just so I make sure that I don't, like forget about them, but, oh my god. I'm just hoping we get an ultra rare soon, because that's when shit gets exciting. Oh, wonderful, two of the same card. Uh, Cyber Leader from our universe, as opposed to what? Um, oh, I guess, yeah, in, like, the modern revival series, they had Cybermen that were in, like, that parallel universe, but why do you have to point that out? Why can't it just be, like, Cyber Leader? Like, without the bracketry? Oh, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Heavenly Host. Okay, we're going to open this pack like every other fucking card game channel. This isn't going to become a card game channel by any stretch, but um, I just wanted to do this because it's at least something to break up the monotony of having not uploaded anything. Um, so, let's see, we've got uh, Fermacy, uh, Hemivore 
one. Oh, that'll be good. That'll go with my heen of all two and three. Uh, and then we have Marcus Scarman. Ooh, heavens. And Nemon. And, oh, oh, oh look, we've got uh, Ogron Group. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> to be fair, I should just, like, dedicate the whole video in that, like, voice. It'd be kind of nice. Uh, Davros Energy Attack. Ugh, oh, really me. I'm telling you though, like comparatively, this set was much, much better than the other one that I opened, so if it looks bad, um, it both is and it, it could be worse. Can you fucking open this packet, please? Also, yeah, I'm swearing, sorry about that. It's basically a kid's show, isn't it? I shouldn't really be doing that. Come on. There we go. I was gonna say, I was worried I have to get the, um, the burner weapon back out. And we have Omega Projection. Oh! Oh, that's neat! Oh, I didn't think they did any of these. Okay, so, um, for the, the Super Rares, they did some funky stuff with them. Uh, I remember there was a uh, pickled egg Super Rare in the, like, original set that actually smelt of pickled Well, it didn't smell of pickled eggs, but it, it had a scratch and sniff feature um, to basically just... I don't know, replicate the smell, but obviously it didn't do it very well because it's on a card. But um, they also did glow-in-the-dark ones, and I didn't think that this set had any glow-in-the-dark ones, but apparently it does, because this is one of them. Um, I might try to show that off at some point, um, but I'm glad that I got this, actually, because I didn't think that they did ones like this. I know they did the embossed ones, but nothing uh, nothing exciting like that, really. Is that two of the same card again? No. I think the rest is just shit. Well, of course it is. T tractator group. I don't think I have that. It's weird that you open up a box of 32 packs and you end up getting commons that you don't already have. Come on. I'm not exactly aiming for the whole set, just as many as I can get, really. Uh, right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Crying or attacking house. <laughs> that just makes me think of the, um... The whole thing with the Tentacruel destroying the house in um, the Pokemon opening. But uh, they had to censor it because of the whole 9-11 thing. Because, you know, we can't show depictions of buildings being destroyed by anything because that would be way too super rare. Uh, the Master uh, Pre-Regeneration. That's a really lame title. Um, like, imagine that. Imagine if they did, like, a fucking Christopher Eccleston card. Where they were just like, oh yeah, it's the Doctor, pre-regeneration. Like, don't even bother calling him the Ninth Doctor or anything, just... Fucking hell. I'm so sorry, uh, Derek E.G. Jacob B. E. B. B. Whatever your name is. Um, Sisters of Plenty... Planet... <laughs> like Krusty reading off that Chinese kid's name, just... She show sha she sha Uh, yeah, the rest of these are just kind of, eh. Actually, what was the rare in that pack? We may as well have a look. Um, oh, it was that guy. Some Possessed Corwin. Corwin. Oh, sorry. Some Possessed Corwin Unmasked. Don't let me fool you by making you think it's the Unpossessed Corwin card that isn't unmasked. Jesus Christ. Alright, what have we got now? Can we get, like, an ultra rare soon, please? I'm getting kind of bored now. And we've already spent ten minutes opening these fucking things. There we go. Oh god, there's so many left, like, they're just gonna have to breeze through it, come on. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry that this will degenerate into this, but I really wanted to skip that ultra rare so I can show it off. This is where I don't get one. I'd be sad if I didn't, but at the same time I got two in the other one, so I guess it kind of makes up for it. Fucking hell. Nothing. <laughs> Already getting dupes from this box, I mean. It's always a good sign. Oh my god. Come on, ultra rare. Exist, please. You know, I was hoping I'd get two, but that seems less and less likely the more of these I open. No. <laughs> should we just, um, should we do it like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory style, where, um, you have to sort of slowly. Ooh, hello. Cyberman. from our universe. Again, as opposed to not. Always good to know. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Source manipulator. Oh boy. And then we'll do it um, the remake style. Which end should we open first? 
You open that end. We'll open it quick, like a band-aid. Oh, I actually got a super rare in that one. <laughs> um, we got Anti-Man. I already have that one, sadly, but... Eh. It'll go for a quid on eBay, won't it? Oh, fucking hell. Another control sphere. Also, don't even ask if I intend to play... Is the camera, like, unfocused as fuck right now? I think it is, isn't it? Let's just see if we can fix that. Are you gonna, are you gonna focus anytime soon, camera? When camera was in Egypt land, let my camera go. No, you're not gonna play ball. All right, that's fine. I think it must be focusing on the, um, Oh, I got an ultra rare, sick. Um, and it's one that I already have. Oh my god, I was worried that would happen. Um, <sighs> Jesus, that's really unfocused. Hold on, let me. Um, shall I just stop the? Let me, let me just try cleaning the lens or something. Uh, no, I didn't do shit. What's going on with you? Why are you not being nice? Now it appears to be slightly nice again. Um, also, I like that it was focusing on uh, Banacaphalatus' face, as if it was like a, a rec face recognition thing. Yeah, um, these are the ultra rares. They're like lenticular, and um, yeah, I'm, hopefully you can see it in the video. But yeah, it's sort of uh, it looks different when you move it. Isn't that cool? But yeah, like I say, I've already got this one. That's kind of a shame, actually. I was hoping to get one I didn't have, but I don't know. There's still hope. There's still hope. Um, and other than that, nothing exciting. I still hope that we can get two, though. If it's anything like the last box, which so far it doesn't seem to be, um, we might get lucky. <sighs> Might as well just skip to the back. Um, oh, Mother Doomfinger, Touch of Death. It sounds like a shitty um, Blair Witch sequel, doesn't it? Well, as opposed to what? Think about it. Um... Oh my god. Should I just toss these aside immediately? Toss them and don't tell the elf? Um, oh look, Banacaphalata. Oh, that's just Banacaphalata. I was gonna say, there's, I think there's a card in this set just called Banacaphalata in brackets, sacrificing himself. That one creased me up when I saw it. I was like, that's exactly the kind of crap that this game pulls. It's great. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh my god. Oh, Gods of Ragnarok. The very same. <sighs> also, back in the day where cards were £1.50 per pack. Take notes, Yu Gi Oh! Um, I don't know why I said that, I don't even play Yu Gi Oh! Kronos. Yeah, it's far too expensive and far too shit. I'm afraid. This is where, like, half of my fan base just leaves. He doesn't like Yu-Gi-Oh! And I say fan base as if I have one. Like, this is my first video, supposedly, on my channel, so... Not particularly, um... Glass Dalek? What the fuck? I don't recall that. I might have to dig, do some digging. Hey, oh. God, I'm really hoping to get another Ultra Rare in these last couple of packs. That would make my day. As opposed to just the same... Oh! Look at that, last pack. All right, this is it, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in the moment right here, and the camera's gone out of focus again. Wallace, again. Oh, I just ruined it. Okay, never mind. So yeah, that was that, I suppose. Um, what the fuck does that say? Let me read it. Uh, Vianesium Bombs. Okay, um, so that's, that's that then. Um, I'll leave on this uh, particularly wondrous note of horrible camera focus and uh, a lack of uh, anything. So with that, uh, I bid you adieu and um, yeah.